Hello guys, it's Lee. So I am this morning replying to Garden Tractor Boy YouTube channel. He had challenged me about a week ago on and the challenge is is to show my top five additions or add-ons to my garden tractors. And he um so if you did not see his video or his channel so it's Garden Tractor Boy, and I'll put it on the screen here. And I'm gonna try to put a link to his channel uh, in the description, so you can go in there and just click on that. He's got a great channel. He's in the UK, his name's Joseph. He's in the UK. Um, and he has a great collection of bowling's garden tractors, and they are always doing something with those. So I'd encourage you to go look at his. But moving on with the video, I'm gonna show you my uh, Yardman 999 garden tractor with um, some of my favorite additions. my Yardman, or one of my Yardman 999s. I got two of them. But this one, this is one of my most recent favorite additions so yeah so what this is is this is what i use to move garden tractors around the property that don't run so uh the first thing is i got this draw bar on the back and um you know obviously if i'm pulling something it's all the way down right now but if i'm pulling something around um i'll just tie a rope to that and pull whatever i need around not a big deal right i mean that's um I can move trailers and all kind of things with that. But probably what is the most important attachment is the front. This right here is designed to go down and I actually parked it in front of this garden tractor to where you see the hitch will fit right into here. You know, this is designed to lay down and uh, hook up. And so if I need to push this, so basically what happens if I need to get that on a trailer, you can't pull it because the other uh, mower would be in the way so I can push it and a lot of times I don't know if you can tell but this is my shop right here and it's uphill you know that's a little hill incline and so a lot of times I can't push those uh, physically just because maybe the tires are low or I'm just not strong enough to push a machine as heavy as that so I'll hook this into it and get on that and just actually push it up in there into it then I can unhook and uh, right there, that's in. just a uh, hitch off one of those garden tractor trailers that I took apart. Actually, it came off this bed that's on that. But anyway, I didn't throw a pin in there, but I'm just showing you. But that's how that would work. So you can imagine if you had to push that up on a trailer or inside a shop or any way uphill, it'd be very difficult to do it. So you just simply hook that up and you can push it. And um, so that is attachment number one all right guys so in no particular order because this is probably my most useful attachments and this is attachments i just i'm pulling them out of the shed so this is just the second ones i pulled out but attachment number two is front end loaders this is yard man 999 with a quick way loader now look this one is an original sears look right here's a sticker now, Quickway made this for Sears. I did a little research and then I got the manual online and it says Quickway Loader for Sears. So this was all original, Sears Suburban 12. Everything's original on here. Um, maybe not the front tires, back tires are still original, but the front end loader. So I got this one, I got that one. And then this one and this one are identical, Quickway Loader. Now this is on a um, Toro wheel horse 522XI. Now this one has power steering. But anyway, we're talking about the front end loaders now. So I got three of them. And this is my favorite attachment uh, or my most useful attachment that I got. Obviously, I move things around with it all the time. Like for an example, I bought this tiller off Home Depot and it was shipped to my house out there on my driveway, you know, 50 feet away. And I put it in the bucket 
and moved it. That's probably a couple hundred pounds, so I couldn't have picked that up. Um, and I put it in a bucket. So I, I'm doing that all the time. Uh, I'll show you this one run right here. I'm not going to show all three, but I'll show this one. By the way, it's 100 degrees out here. But anyway, all three of them work just like that. Um, you know, this is probably my strongest machine only because of the weight of the machine. I mean, I got the back blade back here. Yeah, I got a back blade that's, you know, probably 150 pounds of back blade. I got 75 pound wheel weights on this one. Now the other ones could be that strong. I just hadn't got wheel weights on the other one, but that's what I, if I'm really moving something heavy, this is what I use. The other ones are good for smaller jobs. But that is attachment number two. All right, guys, so moving on to attachment accessories three and four. And they're actually on one machine right here behind me. A modified Craftsman GT6000, but the attachment and I just take it for granted it's been on there for so long. But obviously what I have is a disc. Now this is one of those Sears discs. And I got the hydro, um, I'm sorry, electric um, lift on it. But you can see how that is, a Sears, um, you know, disc set up. And obviously what the main intent of this is, you can see the, the top tray of the disc. You know, you're intended to put... Um, you know, people put shingles up there for weight or cinder blocks or whatever you want to. But what I did, and remember, I just did whatever lumber scraps I had laying around. But I built that up and I put this top on it uh, to carry gas, my gas can, and a five-gallon bucket on. So there, it was designed for these. And see, it fits in there perfectly. Um, and that does, too. I can, too do uh, two five gallon gas if I wanted to, or two five gallon buckets, or anything else really. That was, um, I, was I was always, before I built that on there, I was always trying to teeter-totter gas cans and things on there, because if I'm out mowing on the front and I run out of gas, I don't really wanna have to walk all that way to do that. <laughs> so I guess out of laziness, I, you know, put that together. And on the back side, you know, I bolted this to the um, the disc, put a sleeve hitch in there. So now I can carry trailers around or, um, yeah, trailers around. And this ha so happens to be adjustable. And if I really wanted to, I could lower this down, which I don't really have a whole lot of need to disc up yards. So I never drop it. But, um, you know, but this is a, uh, a hitch and a Sears three point. So I got plows, I got other attachments that can go here, but I'm mainly a yard. So I just don't have a whole lot of need for that. So that's what I did here. So that is, what I say, number three. Now, number four is this um, the Thatcher. Now it obviously don't go with this machine. I got this at a yard sale, not even sure what it goes with. But I kind of got it rigged up here, bolted onto the front, and then I just it's held up by this chain, held up by this chain. So when I want to dethatch the yard, which I'm always doing that because I do, got wood chips coming in all the time, <clears throat> and I just dethatch the yard a lot, so I can just drop that down and dethatch the yard. So that is number four, and I use that more than you realize. So there's three and four. Right there's so two. Accessory number five. I got a Jeep mower. It is also a Sears Craftsman GT6000 with a Jeep front end. That's a CJ7 front end right there. 
got a horn on it, but this is the accessory. So, all right, so I was telling you about the tongue on that earlier. It came off this trailer. So I took the wheels and everything off of this trailer and I got angle iron coming off the back of the frame of this. And obviously I just have a trailer put on the back um, to haul stuff around. Now, yeah, I got trailers. I got this trailer. I got that trailer, which they hook into each other. But this one's always attached. It's bolted to that angle iron. So it's always there. Yeah, this is the uh, back of it that would slide out if I need to. Now I did think about putting hinges on it to where it would tilt, but I just have not seen a need for that yet. Now this, all this lumber right here, what that's for is when I go to tractor shows, I have a Murphy Moore sign that mounts right there for tractor shows. Now I just hadn't taken it off and I don't really have a need to take it off, but I'm carrying around my pressure washer. So like when I, I don't have water down here at my shed. Hey, if you like this kind of video, Subscribe to Murphy Mowers. Yeah, you machined in or, you know, out of all of my 10, 12 machines I got, I'm always needing to pressure wash something and I got to go up to the house to do it. So I just leave that pressure washer back there and just drive it up there with this um, Jeep mower. Now the Jeep mower, by the way, it, it will mow grass. I just don't have the deck on it, but it's set up to mow. It's got the PTO and all that Actually, work. The deck for it right there. I got another one down there. You can't see it. But anyway, that's the deck um, for it. But anyway, that is accessory number five right there. Little bonus footage. I got this Sears Suburban 14. Now, I can't take credit for this. And this thing don't even run yet. But this is a hydraulic pump, hydraulic cylinder to make this uh, hitch, Sears Suburban hitch, go up and down. So that is my bonus accessory um and i got other accessories i got sleeve hitches on mowers i got a lot of other things going on but i'm trying to keep it down to five right there we're now six but i can't show you that working just because it don't work yet works is uh, the garden tractor boy um challenged me in a video and he emailed me and let me know about it and so i'm going to challenge well, I was wanting to challenge three guys. One, I hadn't got a hold of because I want to kind of get their permission to do it. But two, I did get permission. And the first one is Dell. So it's in the backyard with Dell. Now, I'm going to put up here on the screen a copy of his uh, YouTube channel, you know, page. Um, and I'm going to try to go in the description and do... You know, tag him. I'm not sure I know how to do that, but I'm going to try to figure it out. But he uh, he does a lot of garden tractors, or he's got a few garden tractors, but then he also does a lot of firewood. And he's just a real creative. He's a good, uh, you know, like a mechanically inclined kind of guy that can get things done. And um, he's always welding and doing something different. So I figure he could come up with uh, some accessories for garden tractors. So that's one. The other one is Chud327. Now, I've been watching him for a long time. He's, um, you know, he's a pretty big YouTuber, and but he's real creative on his garden tractors. Um, he's always building different machines, um, and they're kind of like mud mowers, but I think he's down in Florida, so it's maybe it's sand mowers. I don't know. But he does mud and sand, but he has aggressive tires and has uh, pretty cool stuff. So I'm always watching it. But he gets into other things, too, like we all do. But um, So I'm going to sh uh, shoot the challenge off to him, too, because he's got to have at least five or more different um, you know, accessories out there. So I'm going to put those two guys in the description and then also... Um, Garden Tractor Boy, I'm going to put his YouTube page in the description. So I'm going to encourage you to go look at those guys, uh, subscribe to their channels and watch them and support them because they're good. And um, if this third guy responds to me, I'll tag him in on the end, but I'm not going to do it unless he replies. So, all right, man, that's it. Um, I think I'm out.